Welcome back, everybody. So, uh, Izzy is flat, or was flat. It was flat yesterday as well. We had to jump start it to um, yeah, get it started. And uh, yeah, I had to jump start it again this morning. So, I'm going to leave that running for half an hour. Charge the battery up. We can't have a, uh, a flat fire truck. It'd be uh, no use to us. Um, so, today, just like normal, servicing everything. Uh, I got Brian here this morning. To start outloading some grain. Um, I'm going to do two things to the Grain King Chaser. Um, the uh, door at the bottom of the auger has got a slight leak on it, so I've just got some foam. They're going to stick around that just to stop that from leaking. And also, it's getting a, a lot of slop happening, so I'm just wanting to put in a few rubber grommets just to ease, uh, ease the amount of banging and crashing that's happening on the machine. So we're going to go out of the 100 tonner here and uh, Annabelle's swinging around as you can see. We're going to go auger to auger and get him loaded and on his way. Okay, so we've got Brian on his way. He's about to go past in a second. I've just taken the drawbar pin out of here. What we're going to do is just put in some two of our, uh, our rubber grommets. And uh, this is just going to help it when it's empty. Um, so that it's not... Uh, because when it's full, it's always pressured down, but when it's empty, it bounces up and down. Um, so that should hopefully stop, stop a lot of banging and crashing anyway, and just make it a little bit uh, easier for uh, for driving. Now, the next thing I do is, uh, this is just leaking around here. So I think what I might do is just put some foam along the bottom here like that, and just block it up. Because uh, I'm not gonna be able to put anything behind it because it's the door is actually quite tight to to get in so yeah so put a bit of foam on there it is only single use because whenever we go to open that we're gonna have to pull it off but that'll work for now we're only going to be another five days of harvest and we're done then it's debagging and then it's seed clay but that'll do We're just moving the uh, fire truck down to the paddock here. The uh, headers are just there. Um, that way the fire truck's just here and parked up in the paddock. Then George is gonna go rip a sample off for us. We'll see where we're at. It was quite dewy this morning, so I'm assuming we're gonna be wet. Uh, and if it is wet, we've got um, some, uh, we've got a job to go on to. So I'm babysitting Dexter while we uh while George is ripping a sample off. What's your guess? Uh, 13, seven. 13, seven. Yeah. 13, five. 13, five. What's your guess, Annabelle? 13, eight. I'm gonna go flat 13. Let's see, so we can get going. <laughs> oh no, who had 14, two? No, <laughs> no one. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to That's get smoking. our, uh, <laughs> smoke. Okay. 
Now we're going to get the uh, shepherd and the manny down so we can do slater baits. So we're getting the shepherd and we're taking the telehandler down to the paddock as well. I've got two rat bags up here so that's, that's helpful. So we're taking this down because what we're going to do is get slater baits. So we need to get wheat, we need to crack it. We mix it with canola oil and um, I can't remember the chemical that we use. But uh, we spread it over our canola paddocks because we've got bad sliders in the canola paddocks we're going to be going into and the sliders will just annihilate the canola crop as it germinates. So we, uh, yeah, we want to make sure we get, we're going to get about eight tonne of wheat and then that should be uh, heaps for um, going at five kilos a hectare for yeah, what we want to do. So Brian's back, George is unloading the chaser, Annabelle's just there. So it's a bit noisy in the shed before when, uh, with the girls jumping around, but what we're getting is uh, some, we're getting about eight, seven to eight ton of wheat. And uh, what we do with that is later on in the year, we'll crack it and uh, we'll coat it with canola oil. And I think it's fipronil or I can't, I can't remember what the chemical is that we use for sliders. Uh, basically, the paddocks that we're going to be going into for next year for canola is uh, cloddy clay um, sort of ground and the Slaters love it and they just absolutely love canola and they will just obliterate our, uh, our crop. Now you can just leave it and you can spray some Cosmos on later or something like that uh, but it's just better we've found that it, once we seed it we go out and then you've got to spread mice baits and then you spread the slater bait. You've got to spread the mice baits first because the mice out there will eat the slater baits and that doesn't kill the mice and uh, then the sliders will be free. Uh, so yeah, that, that's what we're going to do next. As soon as we load a brine, our moisture obviously 14.2, it's too high. So we'll get this done and then we'll do a moisture later on and hopefully get going. But we've already got those wet fill bins of uh, uh, of grain so we can't get really too much more because we don't have any grain to blend it out with just yet until it gets hot. Today's going to be 31 so I'm hoping for some dry grain today. That's all done, heading back up to the shed now. Uh, I wasn't there for any of it. Uh, we've got a pony that's got colic, so I was, uh, Rhiannon was dealing with that and I was uh, watching the kids back at the house. Uh, but they got, they got it all sorted. I think they only spilt the first one. The first one, uh, it all overflowed on them. And uh, yeah, they had a bit of fun, but they got them all sorted. We're heading back up to the shed now. Henry's done a sample. His machine said 12.8, so we're hoping that that means it's good to go and they're ready to roll. Uh, and uh, yeah, if it's not, we'll unload these bags up there and we'll wait for moisture. But if it's right, then probably get them rolling and then I'll unload those bags later today. 13.2. Oh, so close. So close. So 13 yeah. deliverable. So. It won't take long to get, come down. No, I reckon by the time you get, down. get going, it'd be... It's got to be damn near close. Well, let's do that. We'll get going. We've still got room in that other field bit, that wet field bin. We'll get going. And uh, I'll run a sample up.
So this is the sample I just took from the headers then. Uh, Brian's on his way back. I was going to wait for the first chase to load, but I'll be uh, loading Brian when uh, the first chase comes in. So we're hoping that this is dry and then it means that Brian can uh, just go straight to the Cascade and come back. Uh, that's the plan anyway. And our moisture, 12.9. So fantastic. We'll go straight into uh, Brian when he gets here. Or we'll go straight into the 860 as well. Because that's what we're loading out of. And yeah, just brilliant. We'll keep on, uh, we'll keep rolling. We should get a good day of harvest in. It's currently 20 to 11. You know, it's a shame it's not earlier in the day, but at least we're going now. So since the last clip, what were, what were we doing? Oh, I did the moisture, so since then uh, we've loaded Brian twice and uh, I've done another moisture in the meantime. We were down to 12.7. I've got a moisture on board just to see where we're at. I'm hoping we're down in the 12s because I want to blend and start blending out that wet grain. But right now, I just dropped Dad off at the uh, fire truck. The guys have finished this piece. It was only 77 hectares. I'm going to move it down to the next piece just because the, the fire truck wasn't really on the way to where anybody was. So if we had a fire in the paddock, it just, it, it was useless where it was. So I'm moving this down. Now I'm gonna go run this moisture and then I'll start uh, putting those bags of wheat, taking them off, putting them on pallets and putting them away. Twelve point three. So if we're getting dry, which is good. So we'll start uh, probably blending out that wet stuff now with uh, Brian's trailers as he comes back. Probably just do a drop in uh, the eye trailer or in his dog trailer and yeah, we'll start getting that out. So anyway, I'm gonna start getting all of those bags off of the uh, Shepherd. So I'm gonna need a whole bunch of pallets and yeah, and I'll be right. Got them all sorted. Would have been a lot easier having a second person instead of having to get out all the time to uh, get the forks through, but oh, right, that's done. I'll uh, head back down to the paddock now and uh, well, we won't have be too long and Brian will be back. And uh, yeah, we'll just uh, blend out some grain and keep on, keep on harvesting.
up that end in about a while. So they've nearly finished the piece down there where we moved the fire truck to, uh, like down their last passes. So Dad's just brought the fire truck up here, and uh, their next paddock's this one. So I think I have to redo my math calculation. But I think we've only got 500 and like 40 something hectares to go till we finish. So we're uh, we're getting there, which is good. We're uh, we're slowly getting the hectares down. Uh, Brian won't be too far off for another load, and uh, yeah, that, that's. That's how harvest is going, really. I was mistaken with my math. It was 620 hectares to go. So that means that there's 310 hectares per machine. And it's Sunday at the moment. So at a guess, I'm gonna say Wednesday we're gonna finish. So it'd be ideal, fingers crossed. And then straight into debagging. Debagging should only take us at a guess three days. And uh, then yeah, it's all the cleanup getting everything back to the sheds cleaned up and all that but uh let's not get too ahead of ourselves you know chickens and the egg and all that right we got brian back in dad's just got i don't know about six ton from the last paddock in uh in his chaser that he was find to brian and uh right up in the corner here i don't know if you can actually see the dust but the guys have just started in the next paddock so yeah that's good they'll uh They'll get a fair chunk of that done tonight. I'll do a moisture at some point. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, be, uh, we'll be nice and low. So this load again, we'll do uh, the last drop. This back trailer from PS2 there, which is the wet grain. That worked quite well. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's, that's the day really. Uh, I think I'll leave the video there. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Check out the Glass Cage podcast. Uh, and uh, yeah, tomorrow I'll try and get the drone up and things like that. So the next video will have some uh, nice drone footage, not just uh, me. <laughs> anyway, I'll catch you in the next one.